A young couple purchased a house that came with strings attached and unexpectedly their mortgage shot up. I'm Jackie Calloway. In this case, they bought a home and didn't realize the previous owner had taken out a controversial home improvement loan program. That loan is paid back via taxes and the new owners got stuck with those higher taxes. We've done the painting. We updated this over here. It was like this red brick before. Newlywed Sarah Proctor and William Cronshaw found the perfect place for them and their adopted dogs. We really loved it and it was really uncommon for us to find a house under $100,000 in the market nowadays. They closed on the mobile home last fall, locking in a $600 a month payment. But the joy of owning their own place didn't last long. Our, uh mortgage company sent us a letter a couple months ago back in June and said that our escrow account was in a negative balance from the property taxes. Sarah and William's taxes jumped, adding over $200 to their monthly payment. There was an extra $880 something dollar charge for a Florida PACE loan that we didn't take out on our properties. PACE stands for Property Assessed Clean Energy. It's a home improvement financing program that requires no money down and it's paid off through a property tax assessment. In other words, it's added to your taxes. The prior owner received $9,300 from the Florida PACE program for an AC upgrade. Could be things like new windows, a solar panels, new air conditioning, Polk County tax collector Joe Tedder is among officials in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties who've restricted or stopped the PACE program in recent years after unsuspecting homeowners found themselves buried in unaffordable tax bills. The citizen thinks, well, this might be a great deal. Our concern is all of a sudden their tax bill is much higher than it normally is. And now that it's because it's part of the property tax bill, they will actually lose their property if they do not pay for it. We go back about 30 years for that and that there's no liens. It has to be free and clear. Bill Barnaba, owner of Bay City Title, says it's part of the title company's job to clear all outstanding loans or liens attached to a property before it sells. Because nobody wants to buy a home with another mortgage on it or with a permit outstanding on it. Sarah said she and her husband didn't see the PACE assessment on the breakdown of their payment. Her title company says that's because the taxes for 2023 had not been published yet. That's going to be like an, 800, an extra $880 a year on our property taxes. But the PACE financing agreement was noted in their title insurance policy under exceptions from coverage and stated it would be collected with the taxes. This has been a strain on us. Um, it was definitely not something we expected. Before buying a home, check with the county clerk of court's office and see if a PACE loan has been taken out on the property. These loans can take as long as 30 years to pay back, and the interest rate is usually between 6 and 8%. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.